Breaking news, Nigerians. Edison here emerges new speaker of River State Assembly. Suspend members for falling short of principles. Guys, it's happening. The former majority leader of the River State House of Assembly, Ed Edison Ehihe, has emerged as the new Speaker of the State Assembly. According to a release from the Office of the Speaker, Ehihe also suspended some members of the House, accusing them of falling short of principles. Now, it was reported uh, you know, recently that the rift between Governor Sim Fubara and Yeso Mwike, who is currently the minister of the FCT, created tension and reached a carcido in River State with a plot of members of the State House of Assembly to impeach the governor. And the tension degenerated on Sunday night with the fire outbreak at the State House of Assembly. The fire incident was described by some people in the government as some arson attack by the majority leader of the House, Etin Ehie, to prevent the impeachment of the governor. And this led to the removal of Edison as the majority leader of the Assembly on Monday morning as he was blamed for causing the fire incident. And it was reported earlier that Governor Fubara, while addressing his supporters in Port Harcourt on Monday, on the plans by the state assembly to impeach him said he did not commit any offense to warrant impeachment he warned that any attempt to remove him through impeachment that is not justified will be resisted meanwhile in the release after he emerged speaker edison said that uh, at this moment he really hopes that all will be well that he has taken difficult decisions to suspend the defaulted members from their legislative duties and as assured the river state house of, as, as assured that the river state house of assembly will continue to be a beacon of hope progress for all people well well my country people this is a very interesting matter the end of an era loading congratulations to rivers people what an interesting episode from river state we can't wait to watch more episodes from River State too, because as it is pain wiki, it is sweet us. The beauty of it is that the people of River State are with the governor. They will not allow wiki to turn River State to Lagos State, whether one man pockets the state resources for years with his friends. Wiki has overreached himself. He should learn from the ultimate godfather how to keep his subordinate in check, not by gra gra. He is extremely unstable. It's a bit to give the state smooth ruling with the issue of godfatherism it must end. Wike did it in his time, thus he should expect it the same. Congratulations, congratulations to the speaker-elect. Well, it seems that uh, Governor Sim Fubara of River State is a brave man. Well, it is time for the likes of Amechi. Uh, secondus to laugh at Wike. They should stand up for the tax ahead. The downfall of Wike is coming. At this point, the new speaker, the chief of chief of staff was sacked. All local government chairman sacked, councillors sacked. All of them should be sacked. Okay, okay, guys. These are reactions from Nigerians. Great, Fubara, but watch your back. They don't use the judiciary against you at the appeal court and the Supreme Court. May God Almighty protect you and give you the wisdom to govern River State, but the battle is not over yet. They may explore other options. So don't sleep, please. Picking where no agree, say mama go sleep. Him himself no go sleep. Mwike Kama is at work again. Okay, my country people, this is it. Oh. Nigerians have spoken. No, at this point, we all know what led to the rift between uh, Wike and um, you know his uh, successor Fubara. We all know what led to it. We should start by the appointment of new commissioners without Wike's backing. I mean, this did not really go down well with Wike because Fubara had earlier inaugurated about 14 commissioners with portfolios in his cabinet, 
But after much criticism from the opposition camp, the governor then inaugurated another five commissioners who were screened and scanned by the state House of Assembly. And that was how the fruit between the governor and uh, his predecessor, Winke, became obvious after the swearing in of the commissioners, you see. And then we talked about there are so many things, so there are so many things to this um, fight between um, Fubara and uh, Nyeson Winke. And they are now talking about impeachment, impeachment. But then Fubara said any attempt that is not justified, you know, to impeach him would be resisted. I think there's more to this fight than, you know, what the eyes can meet. There is more to it. There is really more to it. Now, the governor, you know, of a river states, we know there is no news that Winke and his own predecessor, which is uh, Rotimi Amechi, did not see eye to eye. You see what's happening between Winke and Fubara is what happened with Winke and Amechi. Their political rivalry have lingered for years, for so many years, for so many years. So, Amechi is like a strong political rival of Wiki in River State. So, it is perceived that Governor Fubara was not expected to have made such move that would make it appear to seem like he has switched camps. But again, they say Kama is speaking because Wiki did did the same move to his predecessor that's a uh, amechi wrote to me you know the both of them were at loggerheads even till date the same thing is happening Mwike and fubara this issue of godfatherism in our nigerian politics is really creating a lot of problems it is really creating a lot of problems but it seems that the people of river state are behind governor sim fubara and not news on wiki on this on this issue now we've seen that uh, a lot of things are going on in river state and um, edison have emerged a new speaker of the river state assembly he also suspend members for falling short of principles there seem to be a new era loading for the river state people guys what are your thoughts on this issue i'm dropping here can you share your thoughts concerning this in the comments section thank you